Welcome back to Block TV. It's time now for Suck My Blockchain, where every day our team members scale the world wide web for the best offerings on crypto and blockchain. And today we have with us a man who can cleanse a pipe, clear it right out. That's of course, Zachy Hennessy, who to tell us everything that made it and didn't make it to your feeds. Got Zachy. my little pipe cleaner out and I just slurped it all. Hey, crypto trading, it's a game of patience, virtue, and more patience, Azure. Crypto mining, is a harder game of patience, virtue, more patience, and high electric bills. At Crypto Memes reposted this meme illustrating this point. How's crypto mining going? Dying inside. If you think about it though, really this meme would be most applicable to actual miners. I think that you know, someone who in inhales about six pounds of coal dust every month is probably dying inside a little more than a neat with a mining machine in their mom's garage. Yeah, true. That black lung, you know, it does it for you. Gets, gets you every it, time. <laughs> gets you right out. They need you to come and clear out their pipes, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're good for. But in the meantime, what else you got for us? Jameson Lop tweeted out this handy little saying, saying, Bitcoin isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, it's a don't get poor slowly scheme. Now the logic here is very sound, but this should definitely not be the initial pitch you give to a newcomer to the sphere. You know, it's just a little suspicious. These watches aren't cheap knockoffs, they're inexpensive replicas. This isn't a pyramid scheme, it's a tapered management organization. This isn't my other boyfriend, it's just a close friend who I only hang out with when you're out of town. You've gotta make sure you keep your marketing away from those nasty buzzwords in the first place. You can trust me, I took a social psychology class in university, so I'm basically an expert. Well, as someone who was best buds with Jameson Lop as I uh, interviewed him at DNDD the other day, uh, I can tell you the man is a marketing whiz, so let's not fault his strategies there. That's Fair enough. Key, all right? But yeah. what else you got? Well, here's a wonderful little gem that shows the kind of great stuff that you get when you sort by new. J Bumb Style says, that's a hard B Bumb Style. Should I put my entire savings into BTC? With the talk of negative interest rates and the printing of more fiat and watching countries' currencies drop and a whole bunch of other stuff going on in the world, what do you guys think? First of all, I think you gotta add some punctuation. But as you can imagine, there was a variety of discussion and many comments with differing views. The answer is no. Do not put your entire savings in any one place ever unless your friend Davis says he'll protect your money. You can trust Davis. He's got a lizard. Yeah, a rather plasticky looking lizard. If, I, Don't if I'm, to, if I'm to focus Davis's too, lizard. if I'm to focus a little too deeply on Davis right now, I'll say the lizard looks a little plasticky. Just look into his eyes. Like man. your dreams, Zachy. But in the meantime, I think it's an important point to make. Let's diversify our assets, people. Yeah. You know, love me some Bitcoin, but you got to make sure you you're keeping it random. Invest never, in lizards. You never quite know. Do invest in lizards. But in the meantime, while you're putting your investments where you may, I want to thank our very own Zachy Hennessy for breaking down all the latest in news and information and sucking that blockchain dry. In the meantime, stay with us at blocktv.com for all the latest news and information. I'm Asher Westrop Evans. Thanks for watching. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.